Welcome to Digital Fishers, your opportunity to explore the ocean seafloor from your computer and help marine scientists as you learn about Neptune Canada and its environment. In this short demo, we're going to show you around the Digital Fishers interface and you'll learn how to get started as a digital fisher. Well, if you're ready, let's get going. This is what we call the main Digital Fishers interface. It's supposed to look a bit like the cockpit of a research submarine to give you the feeling of cruising around the ocean seafloor. Through the window of your sub straight ahead is a 15 second video clip from the Neptune Canada archive. This starts playing automatically when you enter the sub and you can follow its progress along the bottom much like a YouTube video. To the right and left of the sub window is some instrumentation that provides more info about this video clip and about your game status as a digital fisher. Oh did we mention the game aspect? Well, we'll get to that in a bit. For now, let's just focus on the video screen, the sub window that is. Each video only runs for 15 seconds and then the screen goes black. So I'm going to click on replay clip down here at the bottom of the screen. I'll do this a couple of times just so there's always some video playing. You'll notice that when I do that, the video goes back to the start of the 15 seconds and replays it. But if I like what I'm looking at, and want to see what happens after the first 15 seconds are up, I can click on Next Clip, and the video continues for the next 15 seconds. I might do this if I saw something interesting just when the 15 second clip was ending. Let's see what happens when I click on Next Clip. If what I'm looking at doesn't seem that interesting, I can click on Random, and the system will show me a 15 second video clip from a totally different time and location. Let's ask for a random video and see what comes up. Before we look at how to describe what you're seeing in the video, let's look up here on the left hand side. Here you'll see some additional information about this video clip that will give you a sense of where and when it was taken. You can see that this video clip came from a mobile dive camera at a depth of 2,107 meters. The latitude and longitude is shown, but it might be easier to look at the camera location on the map. You can use the plus and minus signs to zoom in or out. Lastly, the date and time that the video was taken is shown. Notice that when I click on random, all of this information changes to correspond to the new video clip. Well, let's get into the key activity in being a digital fisher. I'm going to ask for a random clip and we'll start watching. If I see something interesting, I can click on it to pause the video. I can then select from the fields below to describe what I'm seeing. I can describe any sea life what the water is like, what the seafloor bottom looks like, or anything else that I see. I can also add a comment if I'd like. When I'm done, I click Save Annotation, and all that information gets attached to this video clip back at the Neptune Canada database. Notice that I didn't have to choose every one of the fields. I can add as much description or as little as I like. If this video was really interesting and I wanted to look at the next 15 seconds, I would select Next Clip. Let's try a random video instead. Before I describe this one, have a quick look up here in the top right hand corner at these little boxes, because I'm going to describe these next. But back to the annotating. Replay this clip so we can see it again. Same thing, if I see something interesting I click on it and I use the fields below to tag it. I can also comment if I want. And then I click Save Annotation. 
It's that easy. Now, notice up in the top right hand corner how our six annotations have earned us our third card. These cards are a way of rewarding your activity as a digital fisher as well as keeping track of how you're doing. Every time you complete two annotations, you get a new card. When you get five cards, you then level up to the next level. There are five levels in total, and every level gets a little more challenging in terms of what annotations you can add. If I click on this card, I get an example of a marine organism and a description of it. Just so we're clear, I don't suspect that you will see this crab anytime soon, but you never know. You can also view your card collection at any time. Below your card collection is your current status. This shows what level you're at, how many annotations you've done in total, and how many you've done today. It also shows the all-time leader and today's leader, so you know what you have to do to get on the leaderboard. Well, that's all there is to it. Why don't you give it a try and see how it goes? If you see something in the video, but you don't know what it is, check out the tutorial in the lower left-hand corner. This will show you examples of what we mean by each of the terms. Above all, don't be afraid of making mistakes. You can't break the system. Go ahead, and we hope you have fun being a digital fisher.